Good morning, YouTube. It's a little bit windy outside, so I brought the camera back inside the car for a quick chat. Got that ASICS Super Blast on today. Gonna give you guys a little bit of a review after. Won't be a full breakdown, won't be anything too crazy, but just gonna let you guys know my thoughts and then show you guys a little bit more um, throughout the day. Another gym session like always, but um, yeah, we gotta get this run done first. I think we're just gonna do an hour. We are officially, I think, 10 days maybe, 11, 12. I'll have to work it out. That's just off the top of my head, but we are, yeah, maybe 11, 12 days out from the Sydney Marathon. And yeah, it's getting real now. We're, we're slowly just tapering down. Just gonna do an easy hour today. Um, and then, yeah, slowly throughout the next week or so taper down even more make sure we're primed for the race but yeah i'm gonna stop talking now we need to get this run done I'm gonna show you a few clips of the super blast and then yeah we'll get to it get this day cracking That is the run done guys, just over 12 kilometers. Um, and yeah, pretty much spot on an hour. Nearly ended up an absolute disaster. I lost my car key, this one here. I lost this on the trails, I ended up all the way at the lighthouse and I checked my pocket and couldn't feel it. And I was like, oh no. So I was extremely lucky. I had a look on my phone where I put up like a little Instagram story, tried to gauge where that was on the trail, found the tree that was in the story, and yeah, had a look around for about five, 10 minutes and ended up finding it. So yeah, nearly completely ruined my day. But let's go over the Super Blast now. So I've ran in them probably three or four times on the weekend, ran two hours in them. I have been getting kind of one of my toes is completely like black from i don't know just getting smashed by um running and shoes and stuff but i wore the suit blast on the weekend and i can't believe like how comfortable they are before i mention any more actually this isn't sponsored or anything so not um asics if you do see it i'd love a little deal there and yeah maybe get some freebies but no nah, i i got these for my birthday and um, so yeah, this is all like kind of honest review, but they were extremely comfortable, great for like an easy day shoe. Compared to the Nova Blast, the Nova Blast feel very, very hard. So like when you hit the ground, it, you can really feel it every single time. Whereas these, they have a little bit more give to them, a little bit more squish there, and but also firm enough to pick up the pace a little bit if you want to as well. So 
like I said, it's just going to be a brief kind of review, but I would rate them like up near 9, 10, especially if you want an all-round shoe that's going to do you good for your long runs, a bit of tempo work, easy everyday shoe. Um, yeah, they do live up to the hype. Everyone has been hyping them up, and I can see why. They're an amazing shoe, but that's pretty much it for the little breakdown i haven't yeah really spoken too much about it but i'll see you guys at home for breakfast all right you guys know the drill same breakfast pretty much every day we've got oats strawberries and we're gonna put some honey on there forgot to mention we got one scoop of bpm whey protein there in there we've got big shaker full of water with a scoop of electrolytes and a scoop of strong greens. I've run out of strong reds, so there is not some on the way. But yeah, that's brekkie served up. Starving at the moment, so it should be great. Just wanted to mention and quickly talk to you guys about BPN as well. I've now got a discount code. So the code is TOMMY15. That will get you 15% 15, 15 off your very first order. Now also, another big thing, you guys in Australia and also like the UK, BPN is gonna be available pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. I'll obviously keep you guys up to date, but yeah, working together with BPN to get those products out to you guys at like, yeah, a cost um, effective manner. So I'll keep you guys up to date, but in the meantime, you guys in America, if you haven't ordered BPN, um, the products are literally amazing, amazing. So if you want to give them a try, use the code Tommy15 and that will get you 15% off that first order. But I'm starving, so I'm going to tuck into this um, breakfast. We are about to head to gym, but we're having a little pre-workout snack. So we got one English muffin with some butter and Vegemite on there. So I've just been loving the taste of these, haven't had them in that long. And then we've got a big shaker full of water with pre-workout. So one scoop of flight, one scoop of endo pump and creatine in there as well, which I'll have on the way because I'll be going to Alice KD again. So it's a bit of a drive, but um, yeah, I liked it. I've got a bit of freedom there to, yeah, just film and that, so. Gonna have this and I'll see you guys at Alice KD. All right guys, we have arrived. So I'll see you inside, big chest and triceps workout going down. All right guys, thought I would continue doing the voiceovers. They seem to be getting a good response. So let's do it. Starting off a few kind of rotor cuff exercise just warming up the delt and then same as last week just some light lateral raises we are training chest so wanting to get those shoulders really warmed up before jumping into any heavy kind of movement so um today i was doing um exercises and a workout off my app so you can see up the top left there i'm going to put everything in there um, but yeah that's off the tommy fit app so we started off with bench press now if you, if you did see there it did have set amount of reps and that was pretty much just a goal for me i'm pretty weak to be honest at the moment i can push out 80 kilos okay but as we kind of move through this yeah i'm really feeling like the back end of this marathon prep is getting to me um and obviously i don't want to stack on a heap of weight as it is anyway because then that's obviously going to negative if, be a negative for my running so not stressing too much about how much i can lift at the moment it is what it is but pretty much moved our way up to 100 kilos and then i think the first set i got six reps out and then the set after that i'm pretty sure i only got four out so the strength is kind of like there but i just run out of energy really quickly or i just like the as the sets go on i just don't have the yeah the energy left in the tank but that's okay that's all good we still got like still getting a really good pump and energy levels are still really good it, the main thing's just that strength 
at the moment. So that's all right. Finished up on the bench press and then jumped into some incline press. Now, if you guys watch some of my older videos, earlier on in the year, I was, I was throwing the 50 kilo dumbbells around for a few reps and I was so strong. But yeah, like I mentioned, like with all this running going on, it's um just just draining me of um, a lot of energy and kind of strength and that. And like I said, running priority, at least for the next few weeks until we get this marathon done. But moved up to the 35 kilos, managed to get a, a few sets out at around um, 10 to 12, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, I was feeling it. But pump was good, like, yeah, like I mentioned, um, been getting mad pumped still, so that's all good. Moving into inclined flies, up the top left there again, you can see the sets. Um, and yeah, just trying to get a really good s squeeze. I don't come all the way up the top and touch the dumbbells together because I've kind of learnt that it just takes a bit of, um, just takes a little, little bit of tension off the muscle, which I prefer to just keep the tension on the muscle doing those flies. So we did about three sets of those and then worked into three sets of the decline cable flies. So from the bottom up to the top, I think this was my second set that I'm showing here and it was actually a little bit heavy. So I think I'm gonna show you in a minute. I kind of backed off a little bit. I just felt like it was putting a bit too much strain on my delts. Um, so I just kind of backed it off a little bit, went for more control, a bit more of a squeeze up the top, trying to really hold it. Um, but I love cable flyers like these. If I can get a set of cables at like a busy gym, the, these are a go-to in all of my chest days or yeah, like any of my push days. So did about 10 to 12 reps from, yeah, doing these ones from bottom to the top. And then if I can hurry up and finish this set, then I'll show you what we move into after that. So three sets of that and then straight into incline cable fly. So really easy just to kind of move the cables up. And then I love, I love the mix of kind of doing three sets on each of these, like three sets from the bottom, three from the top, just hitting the chest all the way around. Um, and these again, I, I can go a little bit heavier when I put them up the top, cause you got a bit, you're kind of pushing down a little bit. You, um, it's not putting as much pressure kind of on those delts, but same kind of thing, making sure you're just getting a good stretch as well and getting a really good squeeze at the top of each rep. So one of my go-tos and yeah, love them. Moving into a little bit of triceps at the end of the session. Now I've only just added these to the app. These, This is the very first time I tried this exercise. I'm just trying to look at ways of, yeah, just trying to put more stuff into the app to create more and more value. So different exercises, just yeah, heaps of different stuff. And I actually love these. Um, so you, you just pretty much, Face the machine, it's kind of like a cable crossover, um, but obviously for your triceps and you're just bringing it down um, with opposite arms with the cables crossing each other. Just obviously focusing on getting a good um, good contraction down the bottom there and then letting it up slowly as well. And the very, f very last exercise we finished on was just a plain old tricep push down. Got a few different variations of these on the app, but this that today just wanted to go to the straight bar feel like you can really load it up with the straight bar with a fair bit of weight and always make sure i always only come back up to around 90 degrees like you don't need to bring the bar all the way back up to the top keep the keep the load on the muscle and yeah get a good contraction all right that's the gym session done that was actually a really good session nice and warm up there now it's only like the first week of spring and it's already getting so much warmer which is good I, I like summer I like training like weights when it's really hot don't necessarily like running when it's really warm but um yeah that was a good session gonna head home have a meal so I'll see you guys there bit of lunch going down some leftovers from last night so we got some pork there obviously there's a little bit of fat on that but I'll just cut that off then we got some potato and a little bit of veg there as well so it's currently the time there 126 so usually i have my second meal around 11 but yeah a little bit late but 
that looks really good so let's get stuck in I think we might wrap up the video here guys I'm just pretty much doing boring work stuff on the computer for the rest of the afternoon and probably into the night so um, yeah that's it hope you guys like the video if you're not subscribe like the vid and yeah drop a comment as well and I'll see you on the next one